everyone. It's Alexis Cardoza. What's up, everybody? It's the Wild Rhino Clark Connors from New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I am here getting wild, drinking an 805. Hey, this is Billy Starks. Rip F and Bison. I ran out of booze. Join us because we're drinking at Moe's. I am the fire starter, the carny killer. I am born to die, Jake Crist. This is Bobby Olson. We're drinking at Moe's. You better hit like and subscribe. All right, everybody, welcome to my two cents, Green and Moe's. Let's get going. This one, we're going to be talking a little bit more of a wrestling-related topic again. I know I said we were going to mix it up a little bit as much as possible, but here we go again. People talking about AEW and ticket sale issues. There's been reports of ticket sale issues with Chicago with the debut of Collision. And this punk, not the draw that he was. And to be honest, I don't agree there. I believe that punk is every bit the draw that he was. But I think the issue here delves into the fact of AEW going to the same spots over and over and over again now i've been to an aew show i know how fun they are but when you go to a market so many times in one year you get that market kind of desensitized to your product and you have people all over clamoring for AEW shows. I know me here in Omaha, we I know a big group of people that would absolutely jump at the opportunity to go to an AEW show here in town. But we haven't really got there yet, have we? But I really think that's where the issue is. I don't think it's with anybody on the card. I just think they have gone to Chicago so many damn times. The Chicago fans are just getting used to it. I'm like, eh, if I don't get to this one, they'll they'll be back later this year. But and I get the the logic behind sometimes when they go to pay-per-view cities and they'll do multiple tapings, like they'll do dynamite rampage, and I guess now collision, you know, getting them all wrapped in there before the paper so they just boom they're there that whole time i get it there's some, some sound logic there but how many times here can you go to the, so many places before they just get desensitized and bored now there again plenty of areas out there that and trust me i've looked have not had an aw show plenty of people would love it so I guess we'll just see where this goes. Hopefully, you know, ticket sales pick up. The, the AEW shows are fun. It's a fun time. Kansas City was a great time. Got to see Adam Cole. Got to see the claimed. It was a great time. So I think people just need to relax, basically. That's what it all comes down to. But relax. Enjoy the show. People are going to go where they will but have a good night let's fucking go all right everybody welcome drinking the most my two cents so i don't know about everybody else but i'm fucking excited for this a rivalry that i had been hoping from the moment mjf won the AEW title MJF versus Adam Cole. Now, in my opinion, I I don't think of anybody right now 
not very many right now that can go toe to toe on the mic with MJF like Adam Cole. You let him go like he was back in Ring of Honor in those days, back before WWE and NXT. And, you know, he did a great job in NXT too. But you let that Adam Cole go, especially Ring of Honor, New Japan, CZW, those days, it's going to be epic. Now, the promo this last week on Dynamite, fucking epic. And they both lit into each other. Some heavy blows, maybe some low-hanging fruit, but man, I loved it. Now, as of recording this, this next episode of Dynamite, they're going to have an eliminator match where Adam Cole wins, he gets a shot at the title. Now, I don't see them making this a one-off thing, like, oh, MJF beats him, and that's the end of it. I don't see that happening. We'll see how it goes. But I don't know about it. Like I said, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm fucking excited. This is going to be epic. I'm loving it. So I believe this episode will actually be in conjunction with my last one that I just recorded about ticket sale issues. So we'll make this a whole AEW episode. Anyways, I'm Big Mo. You're drinking at Mo's. My two cents. Let's fucking go.